I'm down near Watchet Level Crossing, a week before the unveiling of Watchet's War Memorial. Just to see this display of poppies growing. It's a reminder of what we're commemorating. The flowers here, the level crossing are predominantly red at the moment, which is ideal. Over there you can see the memorial in position at last, it's still under wraps. General effort at tidying up going on as well. We can get through this pathway now. <laughs> it's really overgrown. I suppose it's a natural stone on colour. It's is a it? Portland stone. Mm. Mm. Um, they've, they've, the carving is first class that they've done. Yeah. And all the names are beautifully carved, and then they've got a, like um, an inlay of, of black, so they stand up really nicely. Great. So it'll be quite a tribute, really. Yeah, it's amazing when you think a place this size hasn't got any record until now. No, and it's quite a few. People actually died for the sake of the country. Quite a few <laughs> men who, who died, yeah. And I know yeah. the memorial ground, which is a. Um, yeah, in, in terms of its name. That, but, yeah. um, it makes people stop and think. Any uh, significance on all those little tags in the notice board, or is that's not the number of people or anything? No, 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 they're just special magnets. <laughs> They've got all different pieces of paper they're going to have in here. Oh, right. Um, and they wanted several for each one. Mm. So we'll clean this down. Yeah. Um, give us a work down later. Yeah, good. I think I think this is this is plastic too. It's not going to get smashed by it's, anything. It's special stuff I installed from Watch It Glass. You yeah. can't you can't shatter it. You can melt it. You can drill it. You can cut it with a blade, but you can't. You've got to think about it. those things. Realise uh, all the seating here because it used to go all the way along, didn't it? I yeah, mean? that was an extra wooden bench. Uh -huh. I think that's some, gone somewhere else now. And Watch It. Right. Uh, What's the little um. Raw time work to very little flower troughs. Oh, I flower made. troughs. Oh, um, right. They wanted a Viking style ship. All right. It's slightly that shape because it fits the, the tub that goes in there. Right. Um, but there'll be a you know a floral display. I think there's going to be um, a floral display coming up the, the drain pipe as well. <laughs> oh, clever. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Well, I noticed all the flowers that were by the crossing are looking really beautiful. Yeah, no, exactly. It's looking lovely. Yeah. Lots of red colours as well, the suit. Yeah. More and more people are turning up now for this rehearsal. Many of them will be wearing uniforms, of course, next week. Ah, hello. <laughs> you can do that next week, are you? <laughs> You guys stay with Gary, you go, you six. It's got a very nice display on the back, I know this first, but on the front of his jacket as well, it's got all these wonderful badges. And poppies for many years. You're obviously involved with this in a much bigger field than rather than just watch it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're a national branch. All oh, right. National, yeah, we go all over the place. Great. Yeah, excuse me, I'll just film your back because that right, really yeah. stands out. Yeah. You're normally a motorcyclist, so people will see that as you drive along. Lest we forget. Yeah, that's very good.
Thank you. Know, you. My mates will be here next week. Some of them anyway. Five of us coming down. Lovely. I've got, got five at the moment anyway. Yeah. Might be a few more. Great. There's, um, there's another penny and there's a name right at the end. Oh, some very local names there, Bindings. Yeah, Bindings, Webbers, Herbs. Chidgies, Davies, yes. Dobles, Holes. Yeah. yeah. Very, very common. Yes. Local Norman. Names. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. you're taking a picture of that, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah you indeed. Look, well, that's the second word. There's, that's not all of them. There's some more on another page. But right. So, uh, yes. A bit of a, you'll a, be in your uniform next week. I guess. will be in my regalia. <laughs> and if it's as hot as this, I'll be struggling. Because <laughs> yeah. it's, it's going to be a warm day. Yeah. Well, if it's like this, it'll be very warm. So, uh, now one of the leading lights in organising this. We're moving now. We're going over... In this direction. First of all, I apologise for myself being late. Um, I um, do have other things to do, but I'll, I'll get this over as quickly as possible so that you can get on your way and do the other things that you want to do for the remainder of the weekend. Um, I'm assuming that you have all seen a copy of the plan uh, where the event is going to take place. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Here. Thank you. Um, <laughs> if you haven't, then see me and I will give you a copy of the plan. But very briefly, uh, this is where the VIP and guest area will be. This is where the band will be. The next uh, area be, be, behind that card there is where the Guard of Honour will be. The main car park, uh, Swain Street car park, uh, will be closed up to all other vehicles and pedestrians for the duration of the event and that will be used as the uh, VIP car parking area and also the forming up point for the uh, standard bearers and for the um, Guard of Honour. For those uh, who are taking part in uh, the activities, again you've got the, the main area behind you where the uh, memorial is. Um, and uh, very simply, um, the guest of honour will arrive, he will inspect the guard of honour, then he will move straight over to the area of the memorial and unveil the memorial. From then on, we go into the service side of things where the children um, do their part, um, some of the adults do their parts, there will then be the act of remembrance, and there will be one or two other um, niceties that will happen during that act of remembrance um, if you don't know about it I don't want to tell you about it because it will spoil it um, but they, they will uh, those, those events will happen and then at the end of it the, uh, the standard bearers will march off the guard of honour will march off and they will go uh, from the front here and down the, onto the esplanade and down Esplanade Road. Um, the Esplanade, yeah, that as well. Um, <laughs> and then um, the other half of the Esplanade will be split so that spectators can stand there and there will be spectators over in the uh, marina area there. Um, the children will also be in the marina area, plus the disabled and those who need to uh, be seated uh, during the ceremony. Um, that is it in a broad brush. Now, if I could ask um, the, uh, the scouts to uh, come over where the band area will be, so that I can run through that. And then the standard bearers and the... Um, they'll go over to the uh, car park area, and then I'll, we will come and bring you there. And then, obviously, the parties in the, uh, the main site. Um, and then, uh, so there will be trains in and out of Bishop's Lydian or out of Minehead. Um, Which train is the dignitaries on? Which train is the dignitaries on? Not. Camel. Camel None of them coming on the train. Then. No. 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 The, um, the, the main reception party, the uh, VIP and guests, will arrive at the Swain Street car park and then they will be shown to their seats over here um, at 11 o'clock on the dot. I will bring the uh, general room onto the uh, main parade area. There will be a general salute uh, to which we would ask everyone to stand. And then um, 
the general will then go and do the inspections and then they will, uh, the spectators can sit down or, or stand with whichever um, they are doing at that time. If you do wish to ask questions, then please do ask questions and even after you've gone away today, if there is something that is burning, then please ask because I would rather you ask now and if it's something that we've got to resolve, then we can get on and do it. We've got a week left to, to resolve any issues. Uh, hopefully, we've covered most, most things. Yeah, Larry. That's impressive. <laughs> There's going to be many more banners here, I guess, next week. No, well, we don't know. Oh, right. It's supposed to be. We can get four up here. Maybe one of the Well, we just hope that in a week's time things will be ironed out and uh, a fitting display for the event, which is very important to various people who have lost their relations in all these conflicts. Not just in the world wars, but in all sorts of little skirmishes since. It all means death and destruction. So 28th of, of June, next Saturday, the event will take place here in Watcher at 10 a.m. I know, this, this week has been terrible for that. I've been filming several trains, all mm. 10 to 1st again. You find the churn table broken down or something. It does annoy me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so against the natural nature of things, the train doesn't go backwards. <laughs> I suppose the crew can see better, Ryan. <laughs> 